I can describe how words and phrases supply rhythm and meaning in a story, poem, or song. Today I want to teach you that readers try to figure out the author's special meaning or message of a story. One way readers do this is by paying close attention to words and phrases and asking, how does this word or phrase provide meaning to the story? This is important because readers think about the special meaning as they read. Listen to the poem, The Filled Mouse, and jot down words or phrases you notice as you listen. The Filled Mouse by Cecil Francis Alexander. Where the acorn tumbles down, where the ash tree sheds its berry, with your fur so soft and brown, with your eyes so round and merry, scarcely moving the long grass, filled mouse, I can see you pass. Little thing in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping, till warm weather comes again, then once more I see you peeping. Round about the tall tree roots, nibbling at their fallen fruits, Field mouse, field mouse, do not go where the farmer stocks his treasure. Find the nut that falls below. Eat the acorn at your pleasure. But you must not steal the grain he has stocked with so much pain. Make your hole where mosses spring underneath the tall oak's shadow. Pretty, quiet, harmless thing. Play about the sunny meadow. Keep away from corn and house. None will harm you, little mouse. So, as you listened, I wanted you to dot, jot down some words or phrases that you have noticed that had some special meaning. And then I want you, using this anchor chart, to complete this activity. One, pay close attention to the words and phrases. Two, Ask, how does this word provide meaning to the story? Let's look back at the story and use this anchor chart to help us with some of the words. So I see a word here that we don't really normally see every day. So I'm going to circle it for you. Scarcely. I know that's a special word. Because that's something I don't see every day, but I know that it's special to this poem. So I'm looking back through, and I'm going to think, hmm, how does the word scarcely provide meaning to the story? With your eyes so round and merry, scarcely moving the long grass, Filled mouse, I can see you pass. So I'm thinking that this word means that I barely move. Like I'm scarcely moving the grass and I'm kind of peeking. And I'm going through and I'm looking through the grass. But there are still some animals that can see me. So I want you to look through and find your own but don't forget to upload it to your assignments tab. Can't wait to see all the great work you've been doing.